Hello, hi YouTube. This is Kai Turner, and we're actually going to do the first taste test of all the different cheesesteaks in Philly and tell you which one is the best. Let's do it. This, the famous Pats. And we're, we're getting it. We got things on the other side. We're doing it. King of the steaks. We'll see. Even though right across the street, they are also the king of steaks. A little claustrophobic in here. That's like the the residential side of Philly. Like really close houses like that. And like this apartment building right here where it's like brick. If you notice that, it's a trend. There's a lot of brick in places. You yeah. notice that? Like how most places are made out of brick? Yeah, it's the style of the state. Yeah, this thing right here. Yeah. I swear it means I think the exact symbol is in one way. Maybe it means something. I'm just home from Philly, I've made it. That's true. Got some, got some music going here. And we're going to the famous Jim's South Street, which has a pretty good little crowd over there. Waiting in line. Huge line for Jim's steaks. Pretty popular right here. Making it over here, gems. Side gems, and it is packed in here. You already know how it goes. Got a wall of fame behind us. We are about to go down, see what we're talking about in Gem South. Pats, cheese tape. Mm. I mean, we are hungry now. So I think it will taste good anyway. That's kind of what we're working with now. What? Pretty good so far. Yeah, we, we got a basis for the first cheese tape. Pretty tasty. I love mustard. Because I don't like mustard. Mayo's way better, yeah. That's some good bites, though. If you're hungry. I've tasted Philly cheesesteaks before. Still a big. Plenty of them. Especially around, 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 you know, Philly area. Mr. Z's in Key West gets an honorable mention. That was pretty good, but let's see what we get in for the next three shops and see what rating we're gonna give it retroactively i might put it in post so you can see the rate this was such an iconic bridge that i had to get it the all blue bridge that you see when you come into philly super cool that's all the hilt and we're honors members this is bad. It's gonna be fun. swimming pool outside that's how the telly was looking not too bad i like the Philly vibes with the with the things. Queen size, I think. Nice little TV. This is pretty solid, huh? I don't know what this is supposed to be, a color coordinating thing, but it's pretty good overall. It's out in Philly. Philly. We're on the New Jersey side, though, so it's technically Philly. We got the gyms, and we're about to throw down. So this is Jim South Street Cheesecakes. Got some ketchup for it. You don't need mustard. You don't need mayo, okay? Just ketchup. I'm gonna see if this thing is hitting or not. All right, so appearance-wise, looking a little bit on the on the meaty side, which is good, but it's a little thin though. Bread's looking super solid though. I like that. Look at the look at the whiz whiz on that bad boy. Okay, so after some further deliberation, let's get into it. This was obviously a little colder, but. Definitely way better tasting than um, Pat's. I think this one's 
This one's leading the pack right now. Jim South Street. Good quality on the on the bun. And the meat. Giving it to you. Mm -mm -mm. Out here in Philly. Pumping up some gas so we can uh, make our next stop, New York. Right after we do some, we do our last cheesesteak stop. Seeing the streets of Philly is so nostalgic because, you know, my grandma being here, my dad always used to come up here. So this spot in specific, a bang. Pagano's. Right in the heart of the city. Yep. This is my dad's spot right here. So we got we to gotta test it. Classic Pagano. You can't beat this. This is the heart of Philly. You feel me? Look at this. You're really in the streets of this one. Pump it up, put it on, fun. Getting the, getting the condiments ready. I'm about to get this beautiful cheese dish. They got the low they got a wall too, of course. Right, oh Pagano. Reminds me of a royal city. Right. So we're riding through more of the uh, suburban part of Philly, heading over to Delisandros, and we're going to compare Pagano's and Delisandros together because obviously it's a lot easier to just eat multiple steaks at the same time. That way you can have an accurate comparison. It's like when you go to Best Buy, you get in a TV, you know what I mean? You see two TVs right next to each other, it's way easier to compare them versus one being in your house. We had Delisandros for the steaks, and as you can see. Oh yeah, little line here. Classic. Man, you looking like that. You're about to try the Sandro's cheese steak. It's just cash on. Five people haven't got their orders yet. <laughs> no, six or so. Seven. And we are waiting. The line is empty. Come on. This is not a system. So many of you are waiting. Oh, this guy's waiting. <laughs> you can't say the video. It's like so clean. The this is not clean. Very clean. The yeah, iPhone. it is clean. Yeah. Like if you if you get less stuff, they should prioritize you. That only makes sense. Okay, so we officially secured the steaks. We got both of them. And you know we had to head over to somewhere to get some fries. Five Guys is that spot. Let's go. Let's get it. And we went to had to go to Five Guys to get the fries. As you can see, got a reg. Ganos. Nice. And then we got Delisandro's right here. With the mayo. You know they're here. Without even seeing, I noticed we got those right here. Nice. Look at that. Look at the beautiful cheese on it. It's just a good taste to it. It's just authentic. Mm. I think what it is is if I had to use real cheese. Oh yeah. It's very familiar for me, so yeah, of course. I can really high on the list. Super tasty. I only got five two to go with. That's a combination you normally don't get to get. A lot so. of meat on this one. Okay. That's true. It is a lot of meat too, so. I think the meat over goes to the taste. Oh yeah. I'm very meat flavor. I'm gonna go for the other. Alright, look just check out the comparison. The Dallas Angels, Paganos. I mean that just just off looks alone. I think we know which one is uh, more authentic. Well, let's see what we're working with. I got her the mayo on the side. We're gonna put some ketchup on that bad boy and get it in. Ketchup wasn't included, but I, I had to get it in there. Let's see what we're working with. Okay. It's cheese, cheese heavy. You taste the cheese first. 
the cheese first and then the meat. The other one is first the meat and then the cheese. I gotta take the toppings and taste everything else in it. It's pretty good. The difference is, it's almost like you want more meat in it now. Mm -hmm. This one, you're craving the meat. You're like, yo, mm -hmm. give me some more meat. The pecanos, you're having you feeling good about the meat. You know, you feel good with the meat. As long as you extra that extra meat, they always throw a little extra meat on your thing. So, I'm going with the other one. Yeah, I like pecanos a little bit more than this one. But this one's pretty solid though. And you can see from this, from this right here, this is overflowing with meat, you know? I choose this one over all. I trust your father. He's right. This is a good one. There. She like it now. She like it in Paganos. I think so too. I think so too, bro. It's, 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 it's a solid. I think overall we'll take a plus. Okay, okay. Just coming out of the cheesesteak review and now headed on to New York. Philly, great city. It's got that old town vibes, but we're seeing New York now. Come on now, seeing these views, how can you not like Philly? It's just such a cool looking place. I think I like all the places. All different. I like this one, it's just that it's more familiar to me. What's that? Kalamata, all the houses are with bricks and stuff like that, you know, these little like, rocks. Like this one. This yeah. One. My father, I will, I will call him later, so it reminds me a little bit. It reminds me a little bit of my hometown, kind of. It's not the same, but... You don't know Carolina doesn't have sound like To be honest, so far, nothing has impressed me as much as Miami. Wow. I have to be honest, the buildings in Miami are huge. Yeah. But what takes the attention? If you like that, then you're going to definitely like New York, then, which is across the bridge from New York. And my dad's from Philly, so. Yeah. But Philadelphia is definitely interesting and very different. The architecture and all these things. Mm -hmm. It looks like you are in another, like you are in a kind of like Vienna or something. It does kind of have that box, right? It could be in the has like this royal cone endings, mm. many buildings, like a little, like a palace, it reminds me, you know. Mm. And that, well, downtown, is a, it's a lot of fancy buildings, so. Yeah. We're, we're just in the more town, more. Outside, urban. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely church. That's kind of cool though. You want something cool on the iPhone? What's that?